Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. I'm Gene DeLaSala with Audioholics, and today we are looking at a projector. You're probably thinking to yourself, what the heck is an audio channel doing reviewing a video gear? Well, you know, guys, we have to have sight and we have to have sound. We can't just have sound with no sight. And honestly, I've been really into these Epson projectors for many years. My reference systems have gone through very different iterations of the Epson um, LCD projectors. I had the 6020, have, now I have the 6040 I've been using for the last year. Well, Epson sent me their Pro Cinema 6050 UB, and this is a hot rod, man. This thing has a lot of upgrades over the 6040 model. It's a, a 4K projector, so let's open this thing and see what's inside of it. And just looking at the spec sheet here, there's a lot of impressive things to be looking for in this model. Um, Epson has put a lot of upgrades into the processing. So it does full support of HDMI 2.0. It has um, full support of all HDR modes. You could actually do on the fly calibration of HDR now. So you have all these different settings on it. There's 10 calibration settings. So you can have all your various picture settings depending on what your source is, whether you're doing gaming or you're doing UHD or you're doing a cable box, you name it. This thing is armed to the teeth, my friends. So in this box, we get a quick setup guide. Usually they're pretty good with these. They give you uh, different tips and tricks on, on what kind of calibration settings you should do for HDR and SDR. Um, I don't know if there's a cheat sheet specific to this model like there was with the 6040, but there was some different modes we had to do on the 6040 to get the best possible picture quality for HDR. So I'll be looking into that on this projector as well. And from what I was reading, this guy's got you know, an improved lumen output over the 6040. I think the 6040 was about 2,500 lumens. This one's 2,600 lumens. So this is a bright projector. In order to get this kind of brightness in a projector um, from like Sony, for example, I think you gotta spend almost twice the amount. But of course the Sony is a native 4K. It doesn't do an E-shift pixel, but that is getting so much better now, my friends. This is some good stuff. So we've got the standard remote control. Epson's been using this remote control, a backlit remote for many generations of this product. I like the remote, it's a little bulky, but it's got a nice backlight. Very useful. Got a power cord in here. And let's see what's inside the box. And we will talk about all the different lens upgrades and stuff that they've done on this model. It does uh, have Control 4 built in as you can see on the logos here. So if you do home automation, you do have drivers that support that. It's ISF certified, which is cool about that is the color accuracy of these projectors have gotten so good over the years that you almost don't even need a calibrator. Once you set black levels using like a Spears and Munsell disc, you're in good shape. So we're gonna pick this bad boy up. It's got some weight to it. And you can see all the different labels on it. The ISF logo, Control 4. It's got a fully um, automatic lens. And I believe there's more advanced settings on the lens. Um, you could do more shifting on the lens once it's set up than the older models. And the thing I like about the Epson projectors is they run pretty quiet. And this one retails for about $4,000. So what we're going to do now is we are going to kind of set it up, show you the process of setting it up, and then talk about some more of the features. And then um, I'll get into the calibration, just doing a basic calibration using a Spears and Munsell disc. And then I'll let you know how it compares picture quality wise to the 6040 model that I have been using for the last year in the Audio Hulk showcase room. So I just wanted to go over some of the features on the 6050 UB um, coming from a 6040. There's a lot of upgrades. For one, that 
This projector has an output rated of 2600 lumens for both color and white brightness too. That's um, that's a lot of output. That's a lot of light. The Pro Cinema 6050 is equipped with 100 additional lumens over the 6040 model, so that offers higher contrast ratios um, and HLG support. So this projector is HDMI 2.0. Um, it supports 4K HDR content up full 60 hertz. It allows real-time adjustments of HDR curve, and that's like the coolest feature that I've seen on this projector over the last model, as you can see here. Um, I could really get a great picture out of this thing. I mean, I had my daughter up here just looking at this, and she immediately said that the, the faces look lifelike. And just to be able to adjust HDR on the fly like this, depending on your lighting in your room and all that, is just awesome. And you can see the, the picture quality is just amazing. I know it probably doesn't come in as accurately uh, doing it on the camera like this. But there's just so much cool stuff on this. Um, Three-axis motorized lens. You can shift the lens 47% left or right. Uh, the horizontal axis at 96% up and down on the vertical axis. You can also set the zoom and focus. And then store all the settings on one of the 10 uh, lens settings. And there's just so much uh, flexibility here of, of all your different calibration stuff. And you can literally get lost here if you have the ability to measure. I basically just use the Spears and Munsell disc to set black level. And um, I was pretty much off to the races here. And I could go, you could go really crazy. Um, it all depends on how serious of a video file you are. But... This is a great projector for what I'm seeing so far. I like the, um, the pixel shift in technology they do to give you the 4K or quasi 4K, I should say, um, resolution. And I'm, uh, I'm running about a 110 inch screen here and it just looks great. The color's great. Uh, it's plenty blight, bright. Um, even when I have the lights on, I could see really well. So I just wanted to give you guys an overview of the Epson 6050 UB projector. Um, I'm running this in eco mode right now, so it's not very noisy. It's not consuming a lot of power. I have a lot more um, ability to turn the brightness up if I need it. But you can see already the picture is just great here. So guys, I hope you enjoyed uh, taking a quick look at this projector. If you like this video, please thumb it up. And don't forget to share it, share the wealth. And until next time, my friends, keep listening.